When setting up your TRX suspension trainer, it's critical that you anchor it correctly. When using a horizontal structure, such as a pull-up bar or a tree limb, wrap the suspension anchor around enough times so the loop is approximately six feet from the ground. You can clip the carabiner through one of the intermediate loops or pull the suspension anchor through the carabiner for a cinch lock. When using a vertical structure for anchoring, use the TRX extender. Wrap around and pull the anchoring loop through the larger loop. Pull taut, clip in the carabiner, and weight test before using. When anchoring to a door, use the TRX door anchor. For a door that opens away from you, throw the TRX door anchor over the top of the door, close and latch the door, weight test. Clip the carabiner through, weight test again, and train. When using a door that opens in towards you, throw the TRX door anchor over the door as close to the hinge side as possible. Close and latch the door, weight test, clip the carabiner in, weight test again, and train. Another option when training on a door that opens in towards you is to take the TRX door anchor and slide it between the vertical edge of the door and the hinge, weight test, attach the carabiner, weight test again, and train. There are six key procedures you must be proficient with to get the most out of your TRX suspension training. The first one is adjusting length. To shorten, hold the D-ring on one strap between your thumb and index finger and grasp the adjustment tab with your other hand. Open the D-ring and push the adjustment tab up along the strap. Repeat on the other side. To lengthen, make sure that the TRX straps are not twisted. Hold both D-rings open between your thumbs and index fingers. Pull the D-rings down and away from the tops of the straps towards the handles to lengthen. To configure the T3 into single handle mode, place one handle on top of the other. Bring the bottom handle up to the triangle webbing of the top handle, separate, bring the bottom handle up to the top triangle again, pull through, cinch, and train. To place your heels into the T3, sit on the ground, place two fingers into the bottom of the foot cradles, roll back on your back, lifting your feet, place both heels into foot cradles simultaneously, remove your fingers, putting pressure down into the foot cradles, Lay back and exercise. To put your toes in the T3, sit on the ground, cross the right strap over to the left side. Place both toes into the foot cradles, keeping downward pressure and pointing your toes as you roll over onto your stomach. When performing any exercise on the T3 using both hands or both legs, be sure to apply even pressure to ensure proper core activation and resist sawing through the equalizer loop. The T3 is not a pulley device and sawing will cause premature wear. The offset foot position is used to modify stability and maintain tension throughout the range of motion of many exercises. The offset foot position allows you to self-spot, to unload an exercise to create the proper range of motion, tension at the end of a range of motion in certain exercises. There are six basic body positions relative to the anchor point. Stand facing, stand facing away, standing sideways, ground sideways, ground facing away, ground facing. There are three principles progression using the T3. Vector resistance applies to most standing exercises. By walking your feet towards the anchor point, you make the exercise harder. By walking your feet away from the anchor point, you make the exercise easier. The pendulum principle applies for modifying resistance on ground-based exercises. Depending on where you start relative to the anchor point, you can increase or decrease the load of a movement. The stability principle allows you to modify the intensity of the exercise by changing your base of support relative to your center of gravity. This can provide either an increased or decreased challenge to the core during traditional exercises. The more stable your base, the easier or more regressed the exercise becomes. 